Welcome back. Forecast Technology is one company trying to battle the global environmental pollution and devastation problem uh, with some cutting edge technology. And with me is a consultant for Forecast Technology, Elspeth Weisberg. Hello. So great to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's start with just like an overview of what Forecast Technology is doing because it's really a fascinating company. So give me an overview and then we'll dig a little deeper. It is a fascinating company and the people that started it I've worked with for nearly 30 years now and they are very clever folks and they discovered a way of, in, in, of a synthetic DNA marker that's not water soluble. So you can attach it to hydrocarbons and other liquids and it stays with the liquids. It's hydrophobic. So this is a way of marking oily waste from ships or crude oil cargoes that if there's a discharge in the ocean, either accidental or on purpose, intentional, mm -hmm. It can be traced back to the ship that did it. Okay, so that is the goal here. It's to find out the origination of this pollution and then issue punishment? Yes. Or, okay. The, well, the, it allows the regulatory authorities to track yeah. down which mm -hmm. ship was responsible mm -hmm. and, and, and punish them, bring them before the courts. And it also allows a reputable ship owner to prove that it wasn't him. So it acts as a really good proof of innocence. You are in Bermuda. I am. So you get to really see firsthand the ocean pollution that's going on out there. Can you tell me what you're seeing, just firsthand. Well, actually, in Bermuda, we're very lucky because we, we're just a small dot in the Atlantic. So we do, we're not in a big shipping channel. So we're not seeing huge oily waste discharges. But there's always tar being washed up on the beaches. It's actually better now than it was, you know, 30, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. But there's still issues. And personally, we live on the water in Bermuda, and I'm always picking up plastics and mm -hmm. waste that's, that's come ashore. Now, is that something that forecast technology would address, the plastics, or is this more about oil? No, this is about oil. Okay. Okay. This is about oily waste. Mm -hmm. the, the, there's all sorts of statistics, which, you know, there's a lot of reading about it. But every single journey that a ship does at sea, they generate 800 tons of oily waste just from burning their own fuel. Okay. And ship captains, when they're in port, are supposed to be cleaning out their oily waste in port into discharge facilities. But that costs money and it takes time. You have to stay in port an extra couple of hours to do that. And ships are like airliners. They're not earning money unless they're underway. Okay. Rotterdam, for example, is the biggest port in Europe. Only 7% of ships that call in Rotterdam discharge their oily waste. So it's a very easy option for a captain to, while he's underway, especially in a part of the world where there's lots of shipping, so he's unlikely to be discovered or it be tagged to him, the English Channel, the Straits of Gibraltar, the Straits of Hermos. It's very difficult to pinpoint which vessel flushed a bit of oily waste into the ocean okay. where there's all this shipping. And with this technology that would happen, so yes. who would who would be the customer then? Would, would ships have to buy the technology or would it be a regulatory body that would do it? Both. Okay. In an ideal world, for example, the U.S. is very keen on anti-pollution measurements and have been for a number of years since the OPA 90 Act. If the U.S. Coast Guard was to mandate that every ship entering or leaving U.S. waters had this tag in its ballast tanks, in its you know, oily waste storage mm -hmm. tanks, then there would never be a problem with finding out who was responsible for a discharge. Mm -hmm. Now we also, um, your company deals with timber as well. Yes. I mean, we spent a lot of time talking about, well, so tell me about how that part of the company works. Well, there's a, there's a big um, increasing use of timber, mm -hmm. but it has to be from sustainable forests. And again, just like in the shipping business, there are unscrupulous, unscrupulous operators who will tell you that the timber they're selling you is from a sustainable source, but it isn't. We can go in to the timber producer, and in particular in Sweden, they're very keen on this, and you, you, we can put a, a DNA marker into the timber before it's even milled, and it stays with that timber even once it becomes a chair in your living room. Mm -hmm. And there's other applications. Uh, cannabis, for example, in Canada they legalized cannabis mm -hmm. last year. They did it primarily, in, in my opinion, to raise tax. Yeah. If a policeman sees somebody with cannabis on the street, if, if the cannabis has our marker in it, he can go with something that looks like a cell phone and scan the cannabis mm -hmm. and find out whether it's tax paid or not. Burberry, mm -hmm. who loses a lot to pirated goods, could put a little DNA marker in every handbag or coat okay. that they're producing so you can tell immediately whether you're buying the real thing. So fascinating technology, desperately needed. What, like, 
where is forecast technology in terms of this actually being applied in the real world? Well, the, the frustrating thing is, is there are infinite numbers of applications for this, and it's comparatively inexpensive to, to apply. For, for the shipping side of things, which is primarily where I work, there, it's, it's just a little capsule, mm. and it can be just applied by the engineer from the actual vessel, takes two minutes, he just scans a code again with this thing that looks like an iPhone, mm -hmm. and, it, and it, it can be tested very quickly at the other end either. Mm -hmm. So ship owners who want their proof of innocence are, are the first okay. uh, target customers, if mm -hmm. you will. We, we've got one customer who does a lot of business in Africa, and it's it's apparently quite a common thing in Africa. As you're about to leave port, the harbor master comes along and says, oh, there was a spill last night. You can't go. Uh -huh. The fine is X. Okay. But if you've got this technology in your fuel tanks, you can instantly prove that it wasn't you that did it, so you can avoid paying the yes. fine. Okay. Thank you very much, Elspeth, for thank coming you, in. I appreciate it. And thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back.